It's you. It's you. You. You all, all 10,000 of you. See, see, that, see, I, look, well, if my daddy was there, I could have done better. Well, maybe you could have. But now you're of age now, and uh, you make a choice on what kind of harvest you want. And in advance now, you determine that by the decision that you make. What kind of seed you going to sow? You going to sow a cheap seed? Well, you're going to get some cheap seed back, cheap harvest back. Okay, let's just give my own experience. I'll give my own experience. I remember uh, when Gwen and I first got married, and, uh, you know, we tried to do things the cheap way, Brother Porter, and uh, we bought this table, this, this coffee table, and every time we sat something on it, we had to catch the folk. Because if I left it there too long, it stained it. You know? You know, you try to throw a coffee, uh, a cup holder under that thing so they won't stain the thing because it was too cheap. And uh, it was made of that, uh, that, that plywood stuff. Particle board, press wood, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> well, I sold cheap ends, got cheap out. And I found out that it cost me more to get the cheap stuff because I had to keep on replacing the cheap stuff. So when I decided to do it bountifully and get something nice, I kept it for years and years and years. I, I've, had, I, I've had one uh, cabinet set for almost uh, 19 years now, still in good condition. They ain't never stained. I, uh, praise the Lord. I wish it would, so I'd give me another one. <laughs> What's that? Oh, so it? Yeah, yeah, I might do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I might reap it. No, you know what? <laughs> no, seriously though, seriously though. Whew, what's this Gwen at? Because I, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, somebody find, get this Gwen for me because I got to ask her something before I do this because I, I just heard from God and I need to, I, I need to make sure I, I, I want to praise the Lord. Because cause, cause what I'm about to say, I got to, you know, this is something, it's something big and I just don't want to make a move like that and, you know, not be in agreement. Y'all understand me? Cause I'm not gonna sow a seed and uh, uh, it, it not be in agreement and my house mess up. So, so everything I do, we gotta be in agreement. Amen. And uh, praise God. I, I heard God clearly when you said that. I heard God clearly. And it wasn't that thing either. Uh, praise God. All right. But, 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 I, but this I say, he was sowed sparingly, shall reap also sparingly, but he that uh, sowed bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Somebody get a quick lay. Amen. 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 Now, verse 10. God gives seed to the sower. If you're not a sower, stop asking God for seed. If you're not a sower, because God going to give seed to the sower. Right. Amen. Verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. God gives seed to the sower so that you can have bread to eat and then he's going to multiply the seed sown. Amen. So he can increase the fruits of your righteousness. God gives seed to the who? Sower. So are you a sower? Yes. Amen. 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 Are you a sower? That could be why you lack a seed. Because God knows that if he give it to you, you won't sow it. I've, uh, I, I, I've told God that anything I have is at, at his disposal. All right. All right. Let me go back to my scripture, verse 6. But this I say, he would sow it sparingly, shall what? Reap sparingly, and he that sowed bountifully shall what? All right. 
I heard from God, and I heard from Sister Gwen. <clears throat> I need to sow a seed today. I need to sow a seed. No, put your hand down. <laughs> put your hand down. I, I, heard, I heard from God. I heard from God. I heard from God. I just heard from God. But pew, I need to sow a seed into your life. All right? All right? Now, God told me to sow my 19-foot Larson boat into your life. <laughs> I, just, I, heard him, I heard him clearly. I heard him clearly. Uh, I heard him clearly. Just tell, I, I, standing right there. And God, God told me to sow that boat into your life. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to obey God. And uh, I'm going to bless you with that boat today. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Now, 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 I have an expectation. I have an expectation now. I have an expectation. Now, now, we'll, we'll, <laughs> what'd you say, brother? Well, you do, so you, go get you some fish out of the deal, huh, brother Porter? <laughs> No, 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 no. Let me let me tell you what. See, see, because I'm believing God for a 30 foot boat, and I can't I can't get my 30 foot boat until I get my 19 foot boat. So uh, so I I gotta sow that seed, and, so I can get my boat. And, and look, look, look. Now this is not the first time I heard that, brother Pew. I just wanna let you know it's not the first time I heard it. Not the first time I heard God tell me to give you that boat. I heard it a while back. Remember that? Remember, remember a while back I had mentioned about that man I talked to about getting that 30 foot boat? I'm holding my own self up because I determine the size of my harvest. Amen. Amen. So if you want to come by today, if, if you want to come by today, now it's been, you know, you got to clean it up, praise the Lord, because, uh, praise the Lord. But uh, it, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Amen. Thank you, Sister Gwen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Now, 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 watch this. Amen. So, uh, 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 so, so now we have we have an expectation for bigger and better things. Now, now, here's the key. If God told you to do something like that, what you gonna do? Yeah, it, it's good. It's good for y'all to clap for Pastor. But what if God told you to do something like that? Now, I love my boat. My kids love that boat. We go out on that boat all every summer. My family love that boat. We're going to throw people around out there in the water. Amen. But I understand the seed time and harvest principle. Now, I got time. I'm going to be here 120 years. Amen. <laughs> now, he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Amen, amen. So God gives seed to the sower. Go to 1 Chronicles, 1 Chronicles chapter number 29. 1 Chronicles chapter 29. Watch this. Amen. God gives seed to the sower. Amen. Amen. Oh, I received that. I received that. God gives seed to the sower. Look at verse number 14, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse number 14. You ready? <clears throat> Page 576, praise the Lord. <laughs> Make sure you're not in 2 Chronicles. 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 14. Look what it says. But who am I and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Look what, look what he says in Chronicles. Everything I have, it comes from you. Yeah. Amen? And so what I'm offering to God as a seed is already his. Because he gave seed to the what? Sower. So everything that God has, it belongs to him. And everything you have belongs to him. That's why when you hear God speak to you, you can give it away because it's already his. Yeah. 